Dear Regina Sailing family and friends and all others who want to listen and learn a little bit more about celestial navigation. In this episode we will start off by understanding that the sextant is nothing else but an angle measurement instrument. And by measuring the angle between our horizon and the celestial object like the Sun, we can easily determine our latitude. And that has been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years. And what seamen did, they sailed south from the Canaries, for instance, until the butter melted, they joke. Then they turned right at the correct uh, latitude. And then they just followed that latitude, correcting it every day at noon. Uh, they, they corrected the course according to if they have come a little bit too no far north or a little bit too far south. And then they just waited until they finally arrived in the Caribbean. After that rather theoretical knowledge of basic celestial navigation, let's dig into the first um, real useful thing we can do with what we've just learned. So let's look at our Earth. I have, we have a North Pole and South Pole and an equator. And what very early was possible with the seamen was to get a latitude. To explain that, I'll do exactly, I just apply the knowledge that we've just um, got to know. Let's take the 21st of March. Why the 21st of March? Because that's when the sun is exactly over the equator. That makes it so much more simple in this case. So we have our boat somewhere here in the northern hemisphere and the sun is stay, standing exactly above the equator. And in, on our example here, the sun is due south of us. We have learned how we can use our sextant to measure the angle between the horizon and the celestial object. And by doing this, we can determine the zenith distance. The zenith distance is so important. Um, and in this case, the zenith distance has one huge advantage because the zenith distance is exactly the latitude. So how far away are we from the equator? That's the zenith distance. So we have the same as we did before, take off the sun, shoot it into the eternity, have a parallel beam that we can see uh, on our position, at our position. We prolong the line into the sky above our mast and here we can see the scene at distance. We can find it once again, not only measured by the devil down in the center of the earth, but also on the surface, namely between the uh, point just above us and the beam that comes from the sun. Now this is very difficult to measure. It's much easier to measure, measure uh, between our horizon in orange and the celestial body. And as we have learned, this is exactly 90 degrees minus the zenith distance because the, it's a right angle between the horizon and the point exactly above us in, in the turquoise dotted line. So the zenith distance is 90 degrees minus HO, minus our uh, measured angle. And here we can see that is exactly the latitude. So that makes it much very simple to determine it on the 21st of March. Now let's go into the next situation that the sun is not exactly above the equator, but it is summer. So it is on the northern hemisphere somewhere. And here we have to know that the sun also has a latitude. And this latitude of the sun is called declination. Another fancy word that the um, seamen use just to feel a little bit and showing off a little bit. So they call the latitude of the sun the declination. But it's the same thing as before. 
we have this zenith distance, which, which is the distance between us and the Sun, expressed in an angle or in nautical miles. And here we have the uh, declination to take into consideration as well. So in summer, when the Sun is on the northern hemisphere, and we are as well, we can see that the latitude is the zenith distance plus the declination. Now, if we are in the southern latitude and the sun is on the northern, or vice versa, it is a little bit different, but a little, a small drawing on a piece of paper very soon determines how you calculate the latitude by means of the zenith distance and the sun's declination. So, what do we do uh, next? We shoot up the sun, we have the beam coming down, same thing as always, we find the zenith distance again between the um, beam that comes from the Sun and a position exactly above us, difficult to measure, so that's why we measure instead f uh, the angle between the horizon and the beam of the Sun, and this is 90 degrees minus zenith distance, this angle, so that means that the uh, that the latitude is nothing else but uh, 90 degrees minus HO, that's the zenith distance, plus the declination. So all you have to do is you have to wait until the sun is due south of us, and then you can shoot the sun, determine HO, by this calculating um, the zenith distance, taking 90 degrees minus the angle, and then you have to take the declination into consideration in the summer, when we are in the northern atmosphere, you add the declination. Ooh, wait a minute, maybe. So, we have here four questions to answer, and this will take us through the course, These to answer these four questions. Question number one, where is the horizon? Question number two, at what time is noon, so I know when to shoot for my latitude? Question number three, what is the declination of the Sun today? How can we find the declination? And four, well, we only have the latitude, we have to find the longitude somehow.